T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm going to be taking a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series Night Force G.I. Joe Agent Jody Shooter Craig. She is number 90. Look at that. Here's the stuff she comes with. She's supposed to be 5.9 inches or 151 millimeters. We got this. You can scan that QR code if you are watching this on the TV. And her tattoo, let me let you see this up close because I don't know if you're going to be able to see it when I do, do the toy. But the tattoo is a snake with an arrow going through it. Shooter, much like the Transformers Autobot, Hauler, is a character that was name mentioned but didn't really exist in toy form up until years and years later when people decided to let's do a deep dive and make a new character based on some stuff that didn't exist and we can make some extra money. But in her case, looking at her body design, like look at these zippers on her pants. She is an all new figure. Now some other character may come out in the future using this body or parts of it. Look at that. She doesn't have the traditional communicator, but she does have that watch or whatever. But uh, yeah, I like it. She has this long sniper rifle right here, as you can see. This magazine is removable. It fits on this holster. This is something I wish other characters would come with. Like, I don't know if uh, Action Force created one like this, because I don't look at every single set they put out upgrade kit but if they don't have a backpack at least something like this would be really cool and she has this knife it's not painted and she has this pistol which is unpainted as well and yeah besides this gas mask right here she has two other accessories so she doesn't have a lot of accessories but I do like it when they come with a a big gun and a regular size gun and a knife. That's what I think everybody should come with bare minimum. Now, I do like the effort, extra effort they put in by giving her this gun holster right here. And this has a hole in it. But let's let you see her face. This is actually just a pop over mask slash hair piece and normally it just comes right the heck off I guess you gotta pull at the front first then pull it up Jeez. but here's what her head ends up looking like without that she has two options this is a more basic version and she does have like I don't know how to light on, I don't. She has like some brown highlights right there on the side hair and brown on the back and the ponytail. So at some point she had it dyed partially. So there's that. And her face, I think her face is beautiful. Yeah, so this is one of the things that, well, I've been collecting pretty much every G.I. Joe except ones that I think are butt, butt ugly and redundant. But this one caught my eye because not only is she beautiful, but she's a black female G.I. Joe. And how many of those do we have? I can't think of any. I didn't read the comics, but I can't think of any. Outside of that, she has another hair piece. This one, where she has two braids going down and they are brown. And the back of her hair, it does have some light, light gradient brown. And the ponytail up here is brown. So I think I like this one the most. I'm in several groups on Facebook and somebody was complaining that they wanted her hair to be like in a afro or straight up dreads and all this stuff. I'm like, no, every time they make 
black characters, they try to go out of their way to be super duper Afrocentric. And this is cool for me. If they make another one, yeah, do that. But anywho, I don't know if I should have to keep showing off the articulation. Let me give you the highlights. People want to know how high up the neck can look. There's that. Of course, uh, you have the ball at the base. Another important piece of articulation to show off is the ab crunch or lack thereof. Like her abdominal section, it does go back a bit there. And it comes forward a bit. Like if you use the ball at the base of the waist, she can do that. But it doesn't really look like an ab crunch. And of course, you get the side tilts and rotations. Um, one thing that was getting on my nerves is the belt likes to lift up. I went ahead and gorilla glued it to the front of this front of her pants right there so it doesn't raise up that much and stop getting on my nerves and she does have mid shin swivel right here when i first saw her and i saw the way her shoes are which are unique to every other character i thought she's gonna have a rotation down here in the ankle but no it's it's still right here in the boot area so they can give these pants to other characters they gave her several hair options and a mask that completely changes her face but hands gi joe team hands she can barely hold this knife right there it's barely holding on right there because the hand grip is too wide open after holding her guns like that gun handle is way more wide and then if you're doing something like this which i tend to do when i have a, a sniper character you widen that grip even more. I mean, it can go back down over time, but more than likely the hand is gonna be gaped open after you do something like this. So that's kind of your fault, but at the same time, if they put in different hands for gripping, that would be awesome. Like you can get this if you're patient and not trying to do a review. Hold on. As I was saying, you can get this in front of one of her eyes. The other eye is wide open. If you don't like that, here she is with the mask face and you can't even see her other eye. So there's that. Now this gun is pliable. So you do have to worry about if you store her somewhere that's not like, on, if you don't have her on display. If you store her like with other things on top of it, they're going to sit on this and warp it. Use a hair dryer. Like, just aim it at it and shit just go straight back out. And then you can hold it straight and run some cold water on it. And it should keep the position, keep that shape for a while. Here's something articulated Ninja was interested in in his Helix review. Is how tall is she next to the other females? Now, looking into the lens, it almost looks like Covergirl is taller. But they're pretty much all the same height, to be honest. Like when I'm looking at it with my eyes, they all appear to be eye level with each other. And here she is next to two male characters. All right, final thoughts. I really like this figure. It has all the articulation that I've come to expect. It will be great if they find a way to make the ab articulation tremendously better to meet up with the male figures. That will be good. When it comes to accessories, since three of her accessories actually do the same function they cover her head it makes it feel like she doesn't come with that many but she does come with a small gun a knife and a big gun so that's what more can you ask for and she has a holster for the biggest gun and a holster for the little gun so yeah the thing i'll keep complaining about till the end of time until they stop doing it extra hands would be really lovely i think every character should come with a pair of fists minimum bare minimum a pair of fists because they do hand-to-hand -hand combat outside of that maybe a knife holding hand even if they don't give us two the one that's closest to where the knife is sheathed and some open gesture martial arts style hands those would be great and if they're not going to do that if they could do like a hand pack with female hands that are wearing gloves and some male hands that are wearing gloves that that would be good too but anyway this figure, good. I like it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos.
click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the chip.